Hello there, this is Dango1867, hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo. We've got a little bit of a swarm gameplay. It's a bit of a longer gameplay than I like to put out, but um, I really don't want to talk about the actual gameplay too much. Yes, I'm running my tryhard class of the PDW, as always, because that is, the, in my opinion, possibly the best gun in the game, or at least the best uh, out of the two best guns on the game, which obviously the... Uh, the AN94 being the, the other competitor in that little market. That's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is a COD killer. Well, a lot of you may have seen some other bigger YouTubers do similar sort of commentaries. Um, I just don't usually like to watch some of these guys, but um, it is an interesting sort of um, thing to discuss at the moment, especially with the actual next gens on the way. Will we see the death of COD come? Um, Let's be honest, uh, even some of the uh, most die-hard fanboys and girls out there will have definitely noticed that the uh, it, it, it's, it could do with some competition, uh, for me. Um, Black Ops 2, well, it had so much potential. It had the potential to be the COD we all wanted. Um, the, the changes they made were amazing, they made sense, uh, they, uh, they improved the game and then sadly we got let down by absolutely terrible connections and uh, which were never fixed um, be that as it may um, I've I've got a little bored of it now um, but that's partly because I'm getting a bit bored of gaming I think I'm in the sort of a chill out zone between the next gens so we're just waiting for the next ones to drop but will we get an actual COD killer from that um, I'm not saying Black Ops 2 is the reason that COD will COD could die. Um, we all know the f for a fact that this uh, this game franchise itself will keep going unless someone really pulls out all the stops and makes a game that is just everything we want. It's going to have to be like COD to beat COD, but it's going to have to do the things we want it to do, and it's going to have to do it well. So all the things that COD does, but with like better connection, and they've got a chance. But there's there's other things that come into it. Let's just think, a lot of media is generated around the YouTube community. Um, it sounds stupid to say, but if the big, and I mean the really big channels, not not just the, li the, little, the little guys like myself or the ones with a couple of thousand, we're talking the ones up in the, in the millions and the, and the hundreds of thousands. If these guys, as a whole, step away from COD, that damages Call of Duty. If those guys make those guys get together and say, "Look, we're not bothered about Call of Duty anymore. We're playing this game." A bit like the Minecraft thing blew up. If if, if people who are in a position to influence other people, such as big YouTubers, and, and they do, it sounds stupid, but um, gaming as a community, it does rely a lot on the actual YouTube community as well. It, it's a back and forth thing. So if the big guys on YouTube say look at, is it Titanfall to come out on the next year? If they all go, look, we're not bothered about COD because Titanfall is so much better, then COD is going to take a hit. And, and I think that is one of the things at the moment. It's not whether COD's better than any other game out there because, to be honest, this latest incarnation, Black Ops 2, probably wasn't as good as Battlefield 3 uh, for myself. Uh, Battlefield 3 had a lot more to offer. Um, it showed what COD could be but failed on the actual basics of having a game that works correctly and that is a big deal so if if a next gen console comes out with something cod like but with good connection will everyone jump over to that or will we still have the actual the mass hysteria that surrounds cod the actual big machine that is the community that follows it which it which is very much like i say influence by the YouTube big YouTubers, those get the reason COD videos get higher views on YouTube is not to do with the fact that COD's a better game than some of the other first-person shooters. It's just to do with the fact that the real big channels put up Call of Duty content constantly and have done since sort of the YouTube sort of became a big part of the gaming. It is one of those things. When I first started watching videos, 
it, it wasn't for Minecraft, it was for Call of Duty. I've been playing Call of Duty since, Call of Duty, since COD 1 on the PC, so it's one of those. Unless there is a massive change, it doesn't matter how good another first person shooter is on the next generation consoles, because we could have some amazing games coming out. I'm looking forward to seeing what people can do. But unless there's a, a mass movement of people um, on the actual YouTube side, I don't think it's going to get the chance. Some of these games may be better. They may be worse. Maybe maybe we're going to be changed in the next and Call of Duty Ghost is going to suddenly take everything that's good about Black Ops 2 and fix the connections and we're going to get a perfect game. I doubt it because it seems that they know now that they can make money despite the fact that the games are, are not substandard, I wouldn't say substandard, but are not producing what they should do, uh, but they don't care. They're not, they're not particularly bothered as long as the caches are all in there. They seem to have pushed more towards the uh, MLG side of it, but that's fine. But the like I say, it'll be a shame to see if another game does come out that has got the potential to beat Call of Duty and actually do something and actually create its own sort of niche and really give COD an actual hard time in the marketplace. But again, it's gonna. It's going to take a hell of a lot. It's going to need to be, one, a really good game. Two, it's going to have to get the big YouTubers on side pretty early, which is the big problem. Because, let's be honest, the actual community around COD now is that big. It is the hysteria that goes along with with the actual releases. The amount of people uh, who, when Black Ops 2 were released, were getting excited, those sort of things, the pre-orders. We all know that it's a, it's a big thing to pull in, but... I think for Call of Duty sort of to get better, it needs to have competition. Um, the way it's going at the minute, you've got Battlefield 3, which, while being a similar game, isn't really aimed at the same market. Well, I think we need someone to go, look, this is what makes Call of Duty good. This is what I'd like from a first person. This is what the community wants on COD, but COD, the Call of Duty people aren't really listening. Let's make a first person shooter that fills those gaps and hopefully people will pick up on it they will realize it is a superior game and actually it will blow up which will then force the makers of Call of Duty to actually think more about their product rather than just assume the fact off of the back of the actual mass media that they've got going around Call of Duty that that game will be successful and it's a bit of a ranty com um, I don't really use a light to get into these sort of things but I just think at the moment with gaming going the way it is it'd be a shame uh, for a company not to try and take advantage of the next gen consoles and just sit back and go oh well there's no point making a first person game because at the end of the day we're not going to be able to complete the code someone's got to take that gamble someone's got to think look we can see what they're doing that is good and we can build on it so i hope you enjoyed that come i'll see you all later guys